we were talking before we went on the air, uh, all three of us, about some of the myths that are out there, particularly as it pertains to uh, the Soviet Union, the first term, and, uh, and, and Nancy's supposed uh, uh, influence on, on President Reagan regarding that. Well, you know, where do I start? Uh, the first off is that uh, I, I've noticed that uh, over the last couple hours is that uh, this myth has been cropping up that she somehow had an end, uh, a hand in winning the Cold War, uh, that she was uh, she was uh, much more liberal than than he was on abortion and uh, on homosexual marriage and other things like that. The fact is, is that she was pretty conservative. She wasn't. Uh, as conservative probably as he was, but uh, she was, you know, she she understood her role. She understood the role of first lady. I want to put up a, a part of the obituary from the Washington Post, which is disgraceful, uh, written by, uh, I believe, Lois Romano. Mrs. Reagan's most prominent initiative as first lady uh, was her Just Say No Drug Awareness campaign aimed at preventing and reducing recreational drug use among young people. But time after time, her efforts at developing a substantive role for herself were overshadowed by parallel revelations about her pri uh, pricey clothes, rich friends, and about her meddling in her husband's official business. And there's much more to it, which is disgraceful. Um, what's your take on, on that portion of, uh, uh, of her persona or what, or what some people believe about her? It's, it's incredibly, it's a sad commentary in the wake of, of Nancy Reagan's passing that a major news out, outlet would write such um, something of that nature. Um, it's not only unfair, but it is um, wholly inaccurate. And, um, you know, to comment negatively on her anti-drug campaign is to misunderstand the fact that no one has been able to curb the drug problem in the U.S. Craig, final thought on Nancy Reagan. Uh, is that article doesn't surprise me. The Washington Post and the style section of the Washington Post uh, have had it in, quite frankly, for the Reagans since the day they walked uh, into Washington in January of 1981. Uh, the week that he died, the style section wrote awful things about uh, the state of their marriage, about whether or not he proposed to another woman, about whether or not he was a good actor or a bad actor, uh, that he was a lousy football player. Uh, the Washington Post is part of a, of a liberal, uh, a dominant liberal culture that always despises Ronald Reagan. Yep. Uh, yep. Always despises the Reagans.